Hey, what's up guys, how we doing? So today I wanted to talk really quickly about hitting approaches. Um, during the off season when I'm home, I have the opportunity over the last few years to help out uh, pro scouts and college coaches um, with workouts all around this area, all around Massachusetts. And basically what we do is um, a lot of high school players will come in uh, and some college players and it gives them the opportunity to learn a little bit. So there'll be pro, uh, pro players like myself and some other guys that are there to help pass on some things that we've learned over the years. But also there's college coaches that kind of give that area, their area of expertise and give some advice and also a chance for them to look at some players um, and you know, maybe be able to scout some players. And then also for the pro scouts, um, you know, there may be a few guys in that group every year that have the potential to be scouted and hopefully be drafted. So it gives the professional scouts a chance um, to do some early work on them during the winter, kind of get an idea of who maybe they want to spend a little bit of extra time uh, looking at when the season starts. So um, I've been to a bunch of these things over the last few years. And as far as hitting approaches, I've noticed kind of the same thing over and over and over again. Now we just did one a few days ago and it's fresh in my mind, I want to throw it on video just to get it out there to everyone. Um, but what I notice a lot, um, whether it's uh, T-work or front flips or soft toss or, or live batting practice, whatever it may be in the case, most hitters get into the cage and probably 90% of their balls put in play are to the pull side and a lot of them aren't good pull balls. A lot of them are rollovers, so a right-handed hitter will get up and they will swing as hard as they can and they'll roll over the first six balls to the third baseman and then they might ground out twice to the left fielder and fly out twice to the left fielder and then get out of the cage. They've made no adjustments, but a lot of players, I think the problem is, is when they, when they hit in front of scouts, college scouts, pro scouts, pro players, whatever it may be, um, they want to impress the coach or the scout or whoever it may be. And their idea of impressing them is just to get up there, swing as hard as they can, and just yank 10 balls in a row. Okay, get out and hit the ball hard right at the third baseman 10 times. The problem is, yes, we, you know, we've talked about tools and everything in the past, and, and scouts and coaches are looking at bat speed, and they're looking at raw power and all that stuff. But, um, you know, you can have all the raw, po raw power in the world. If you're not able to back a ball up a little bit, use the entire field, and spray the ball around, uh, it's going to be tough for you once you get into games. And the problem is a lot of players uh, during the offseason, in their cage work, this is how they practice. They just pull, 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 pull. And then they do this for months and months and months. And then they get out to the offseason and a guy takes a little bit off the fastball or throws you an off-speed pitch or a change-up in the middle of the player go, oh, my timing, my timing is just, you know, my timing's not there. I, I just, I can't, I'm pulling everything. I'm out in front of everything. Um, you know, the reason is because we've built four, five, six months of bad habits um, from just pulling everything in the batting cage. And then we go out to the games in the, in the springtime and we wonder why it takes us all spring to get back to being able to use the whole field. Well, we've, you know, you build in those habits, you're never going to get rid of them. You've built them into muscle memory. So what you need to do when you do your cage work is, yes, you can pull the ball. But most players pull the ball naturally. So work on your weakness and put the ball away and hit some balls to the opposite field. Move the ball middle, drive the ball up the middle. Then you can work on your strength. Put the ball in and pull a couple balls. But don't pull it just for the sake of pulling it and, and, and rolling over to the third baseman. Still stay inside the ball. Try to drive the ball to the gaps. Um, that's one of the biggest things. When you're hitting, no matter what you're doing, T-work, flips, soft toss, live BP, whatever, Work on hitting the back cage, the back net. Try to stay away from the side nets. So if I'm hitting at you, I'm trying to drive the ball right back at the camera as much as I possibly can. That's going to open the field up. It's going to make us a better hitter. Uh, too many guys are just, you know, pulling it into the side nets and not using the entire field. And a scout wants to look at these things. So you may, as a player, think, oh, I showed that guy that I, you know, I, I hit seven out of ten balls over the left field fence right down the line and I pulled three more balls in the hole. He wants to see you be able to use the whole entire field because the scout and the college coach understands for one, if you have a ton of power and you do have a ton of pull power, well that's great, but when you get into a game, a team is eventually going to figure out, okay, this guy 
loves the ball in and he just wants to hook the ball and pull it down the left field line all the time as a right hand hitter or as a lefty he just wants to hit the ball over the right foul hole for a home run we're not going to give him that pitch anymore you know we might show him in show him a ball in off the plate now we're going to work away we're going to you know a right hand we're going to throw him two seams away we're going to throw him some change ups away and we're just going to let him roll over to the first baseman all day long or a right hand hitter we'll let him roll over to third base all day long and we'll get him out and you know he might think he's big and strong and hit these balls but we're not going to let him do it that's the problem when you get older yes maybe in little league and you know babe ruth and high school ball pitcher doesn't have great command he's just going to lay it in there for you and he's going to let you just show off all this power but when you get to college and that pro ball um, they're not going to just let you do that. They have a much better ability, the pitchers do, to command the ball and put it where they want. And they're going to see what you do well, and they're going to see what you don't do well, and then they're going to attack your weaknesses. So you've got to be working on your weaknesses. Stop just thinking that you can just pull the ball and you'll make a career out of it. Maybe you know a few guys in the world can. But for most people, you cannot just rely on that. So keep working on your whole game. Use the whole field. Use the middle of the field. Work, the, work gap to gap when you're hitting the cage. Aim for the back screen and don't be afraid to work on hitting the ball the other way a little bit. Stop just trying to pull every single thing. It'll make you a better player. Scouts like it. College coaches like it. It'll make you look better. Um, it just help everything. So keep that in mind. Let me know if you have any comments. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. All that good stuff. Okay? We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.